Well, Eddie, I am not the best at tennis, but in just a few weeks, some of the best of the best tennis players, runners, and swimmers from around Texas will be taking part in a statewide competition. The TAF games are going to be happening right here in McAllen. Ready, go. Some of these young runners are used to winning big. Last year, I got first in all my events. Even so, they're training hard to qualify for this year's Games of Texas, hosted by the Texas Amateur Athletic Federation. Three, four. The statewide competition brings the best of the best athletes from all kinds of sports to one Texas town, often meaning road trips for this team. I love like the trip because I get, I get to bond with all my friends. But this year, the Games of Texas will be held in their very own backyard. I actually feel really proud because last year um, I got to travel, which was really fun, but my parents didn't get to come. So this time my family gets to see me and watch me, which is really cool. These runners aren't the only ones preparing for the Games of Texas. We're hosting anywhere from eight to 10,000 athletes. And with that come another 10 to 12,000 family members and friends. Most of the 17 different sports competitions will be held at parks and venues in McAllen. The cities of Edinburgh, Brownsville, Harlingen and Mission will also host some of those events. Uh, right now we're meeting on a weekly basis. McAllen's Parks and Recreation Director says regardless of whether you're participating in the games, be prepared for the crowd. Expect delays. You know, there's going to be traffic. You know, there's going to be you know high traffic. And there's going to be a lot of folks everywhere. But it's a great thing for businesses in McAllen and the surrounding areas, for ho for hotels, for everybody. And the Games of, Te of Texas will be kicking off on July 28th. It will last through July 31st. If you want to participate in any way, it's not too late. You can give the McAllen Parks and Recreation Department a call. Live in McAllen, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.